Fora TV. The world is thinking. Well, Brad, I'd like to get one more question in about debt, <laughs> since it's such a big subject. What advice do you have for people who are really struggling with their debts? Is bankruptcy the answer, or has the new bankruptcy law closed off that option for most people? Um, you still have options. Bankruptcy reform uh, certainly makes it a lot more challenging for people to file for Chapter 7. Chapter 13 is sort of where the uh, Republican Congress and President have pushed people towards to repay the, uh, the banking industry at the expense of the consumer and entrepreneur. Um, but I'd say before even looking at options is what you really should do is do a gut check and figure out where you are. Pull your credit. You should pull your credit once a year. See what's on there. Um, make sure you understand what's on there. If you have uh, high balances relative to your limits, anything over about a third of your credit limit, if you owe, that's going to negatively impact your credit rating. And then do a budget, like I said earlier, and figure out what your cash flow is. Work very hard if you're in debt for a as long as it takes to cut back on the lattes and cut back on the dinners and movies and try to fill up your tank a little less and use that available free cash flow to pay down those debts. If at the end of the month and you really do stick to a budget, you figure out that you do have negative cash flow and a significant chunk of that is going to pay off unsecured debts or secured debts, which maybe have turned into unsecured debts because your home's underwater, it really is uh, time to do that, that, that serious gut check and figure out what your alternatives are. You could um, go and seek bankruptcy counseling, see if you qualify for a Chapter 7, frankly now with uh, post-bankruptcy reform. If you make more than the median income in the state, you won't qualify for a seven, which is a traditional liquidation. You're going to have to repay your debts over five years uh, through a 13. Um, if you have the ability to repay 25% of your debts uh, and some other hurdles, you will not qualify for a seven. There's also traditional nonprofit credit counselors who um, don't be fooled, do actually make money, and uh, uh, the vast majority of them are not uh, really serving directly the consumer, but they can get interest rate concessions and monthly payment reductions, which should allow you to compound and put more of your uh, cash flow into paying those debts down. And typically that program takes about five years. And then um, there's programs called negotiated debt settlement, which is for people that have severe problems, but uh, Chapter 7 is not the right alternative. So first, figure out what you can self-manage if you realize that your cash flow is negative even after uh, tightening the belt seek third-party help and kind of figure out based on what's available freely in your monthly cash flow what alternatives right for you. The folks that come through your shop, um, what would you say is the main reason people get in trouble with their debt? Is it some kind of life event like a major medical problem or a layoff or is it just simple overspending? I think the cause of the problem a lot of times um, is overspending caused by many things. Could be medical hardship, could be uh, overspending, uh, could be a variety of issues. Very frequently we see situations, our average client has 30,000 of credit card debt, so it's not a small amount, it's a more severe uh, financial problem. And most people are making these financial decisions and just barely able to make their monthly payments. And then one of three things for our client base happens is serious medical hardship where they can't afford their, their premium to can't afford to pay those medical expenses and the whole thing unravels. Uh, divorce or loss of a job or, or uh, loss of income, which prevents them from the ability to keep paying those debts. And the whole thing can unravel very quickly.